y'all it's alana j and i'm back again with another video so in this video um before i even start if y'all see my hair blowing it's because there is a fan directly on me it is super super hot today it's about 92 degrees um feeling like 97 and i'm currently in my room with the ring light on the doors closed so i have central air but it's not doing a whole cross flow so anyway it is hot in here that's why i have the fan on that's why you'll see my hair blowing so in today's video we're going to be doing a pretty little thing try on haul however it's going to be a side by side version and that's why i'm sitting down so on this side right next to me let me scoot over on this side right next to me you will see all the try on portions and you'll see how the clothes fit me um and then for anything like detail and any item i will be holding it up and showing you guys what it is so for reference um my top size is usually a medium to a large um, for all of my streetwear type items such as graphic tees or just bigger hoodies or bigger sweaters or whatever I want to do I usually go and I get an extra large or if the shirt already says oversized then I get a large um, but any like crop tops and stuff that I want to fit something like this I'll get a medium so let's just get started this is our pretty little thing bag I am so excited if you know me you know I love to shop um, but also I haven't been shopping a lot recently because your girl was trying to save money but I'm shopping again <laughs> let's just say I'm shopping again in the halls and sneakers and all that stuff will be coming I didn't get any bags or accessories in this haul but my next one will have some bags and accessories because I'm going on vacation. So yeah, so excited about that. But let's just get started. So first thing I see is I see this shirt right here. Um, it's a black jersey lace up contrast stitch crop top. It is in a US size 10. So this shirt does fit me does work well but there is no try on portion for this shirt there's a couple items where there's no try on portion um i will show you why i mean it's kind of self-explanatory if you know what type of shirt i'm talking about hold on it's inside out okay so this is the shirt that i'm talking about this is you know the trendy um shirt that has all the crossing and opening in the middle for cleavage reasons you know and this shirt is actually really really freaking cute it has the outline the stitching so like the stitching is on the outside which is pretty much the whole like theme of this shirt is to have stitching on the outside and i got it in a us 10 which is pretty much a large um it did fit however i didn't put it on camera for the try on because for anybody with a bigger bust I mean pretty much I don't know it might just be for this shirt in total I think everybody who wears this shirt unless you just have nothing at all should be using like boob tape or um some type of like you know taping situation just to keep them in place because this top has no support whatsoever and the little strings in the middle I mean you can tie it tighter to show less or you can you know open it a little bit more to show more but I definitely think boob tape is the way to go with a shirt like this I'll show what the model looks like this is what the model looks like in the top and I definitely feel like she has some boob tape situation going on so yeah so that's this shirt so our next item oh there's so many items wrapped in other items this is like christmas <laughs> so our next item is this graphic tee very 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 cute you'll see in the try on portion how i look in it um i believe it's an oversized graphic tee the name of it is sand calabasas 
Sans Calabasas slogan t-shirt in a size large. Um, and basically, as you guys saw, it just says Los Angeles uh, Calabasas. And then it has an animal on it. I don't know what big cat that is on there, but has the animal, the big cat animal, and it says California State. So I... <laughs> If you guys saw, sorry, if you guys saw my last Pretty Little Thing mini haul, which I'll tag right here, you guys saw that I got another tan shirt or sand shirt, and it says um, strength and power. So I'm really trying to get my light neutrals and get them to be kind of in replace of my blacks because I have a lot of black shirts and black goes with everything. We all know that, but these neutral sand shirts also go really well with a lot of prints and like a lot of not prints but like a lot of different textures like jeans regular cotton linen um you know it goes with skirts um like a white pleated skirt would look so cute with this um so it's like things like that and um that i'm kind of thinking about when i think about shirts like this i'm kind of thinking can i get this in stone or sand or tan and not get it in black maybe we'll get it in black if we you know love it in this color so yeah because black will always be there black clothing will always be there but some of these colors you know they might not be there for that much longer so that's why i got this and like i said i got it in a large and i believe it said oversized on pretty little things website so my next shirt I didn't just get tops this time guys but my next shirt is this halter top oh my goodness my hair got stuck in it but it's this halter top um it really doesn't have any shape to it when it's not on someone it kind of just looks like well if you turn it like this it looks like really big bottoms but it's a halter top this is the part that goes around your neck and then this is the part that goes around your um your back part like where the bra sits you'll see how it fits on me right here um i really like this i just think that i could have got it in a smaller size um this is the essential white halter neck crop top and i got it in a 10 but i think i i could have easily gotten it in oh no wait, wait 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 so i got it in a uk 12 which is a us 8 but it's really stretchy like it's very stretchy um this part is not as tight as i thought it would be i thought it would hang on my neck like a little tighter like maybe a little bit more support but it doesn't it's literally just a basic um halter neck top which isn't bad but it's just like i thought it would give me a little bit more support up here this is another one of those tops where boob tape comes in handy um i will be purchasing some soon i just don't know what brands so if you know a good boob tape brand comment that down below but it's just your basic halter crop top i bought a bunch of the um bandeau tops last summer so i was like let me switch it up and get a halter crop um i also got one in gray somewhere where is it yeah, so I also got one in gray. You'll see right here. So, yeah. I wanted to just get some basics. You know me. And then another item that I got was I got these jeans. Now, y'all probably like, why should you get jeans in the summer? Look, I don't own a lot of jeans. I personally don't like jeans. But I think the reason why I was telling myself that I didn't like jeans was because I was always getting skinny jeans. And I don't like skinny jeans. But this whole boyfriend cut jeans, let me tell you, boyfriend jeans are really, really cute. And so perfect for streetwear. Perfect to go with like a little nice shirt and some heels. Like the fit of them is just so comfortable like after years and years and years like all of my life pretty much of wearing skinny jeans and then wearing these um these loose fitting i'm sorry i'm buttoning them up wearing these loose fitting um 
boyfriend jeans it's just a different ball game and i'm just excited to explore it so this has all buttons i don't know if you guys saw me like buttoning it up but this has all buttons on the inner area and then it has this material that flips over but the only button that really shows is the top one which i thought was interesting um this is what the jeans look like held up there's some distressing up here in the upper area and then there's like a diagonal diagonal stressing <laughs> distressing over here and then there's some distressing right here and then the bottom is just a regular um not flare cut but i guess straight cut um bottom but these aren't straight leg jeans so these are definitely boyfriend jeans they have a lot of room the pockets on the back very spacious and big you know real pockets all around there's also real pockets in the front so i really like these i got these um this says pretty little thing petite light blue wash open knee boyfriend jean um this says it's a 14 in a uk size so i feel like i got these in my size which is a 10 i believe that's the comparison um the conversion i think that's what that is um and also 10 is my size so yeah i really like these jeans and i ow and if like my body type like i'm five four and a half probably like leaning towards five five but i literally have no torso so i can fit some of the petite section clothing because really i'm like top and legs <laughs> like there's nothing here it's literally like top and legs like <laughs> so this really works out for me um and that area I also got these shorts now these shorts guys do these look they look cream on the camera and maybe it's just lighting that makes them look cream but when I stare at them for long enough they look like a light sage I don't know if it's a light sage or a cream it was titled cream but if you look in the try on I tried it on with the sand shirt and I feel like the sand shirt definitely looks like a more cream in that neutral scope of color than the shorts look. But anyway, these shorts are called Cream Lightweight Split Hem Runner Shorts in Extra Large. So I got them, I got them in an extra large because I wanted them to be baggy. Um, but I easily could have got these in a large. These are very stretchy. Um, very stretchy at the top very breathable here feels like straight up cotton so I definitely could have got these in a large and been fine but I got them in an extra large they still look cute and I will definitely still be wearing them throughout the summer um here's um some shorts that are not in the try ons and here is why so this is why I decided to do a sit down and do a try on side by side because this package came a little too fast for me now don't get me wrong i love when packages come early than they're earlier than they're supposed to but i ordered this package of pretty little thing items last week um and i ordered it i want to say tuesday or wednesday i ordered it and it came on friday so it came a little too fast for me. It was supposed to come this upcoming Wednesday, but it actually came on Friday last week. So that's why I was like, let me do a sit down for this because I really need to see what they sent me, what is not fitting, what is fitting, is the whole bag perfect, are they getting better with shipping, and you know, figure everything out. So these, um, these are called gray marl sweat pocket shorts they sent me a 2xl i did not order a 2xl i ordered an extra large and look how big these are like these i was drowning in these I was drowning in these okay guys like don't get me wrong love pretty little thing but I was drowning in these 
no <laughs> so these are definitely going back that's why they are the only item that is like really in the plastic besides that um stitch shirt but yeah these are just a no i i can't just wear these and be drowning in clothes like i like oversized don't get me wrong i like oversized but i don't like to drown my body in clothes i don't like to do that so these are definitely going back and then the second pair that did not work out were also black sweat pocket shorts and they sent me a size 16 in this however they didn't say if it was a us 16 or a uk 16 however when i tried them on now when i tried them on they did not fit they were very much drowning like the other ones sorry about that guys um so what i was saying about these black shorts like they don't they don't seem that bad but they are big they're definitely not the size i ordered and i can't even tell what size i ordered but i know i didn't get a size 16 um i know i definitely got you know size 10 or size 12 or size large or extra large but it wouldn't be a size 16 even if it was uk so yeah um i don't know i really wanted sweat shorts from them because i sweat shorts are some of the most com comfortable things to wear um during the summertime as well as when you know you're wearing your sneakers and you just want it to be like you know really cool streetwear outfits sweatshorts are the way to go and these are just big like i i need them to be a little bit smaller and then we'll be fine so these are also going back um along with the gray ones we only have a couple items left i'm gonna wrap this up so our next item is this slinky top i love slinky tops for the summertime um if i put it back a little bit you guys can see it is a stone color it might look like a light peach but i promise you it's a stone color um it is called stone slinky fitted racer crop top in a uk 14 which is a us a 10. so this is a size 10 and us sizing fits me perfectly for slinky crops slinky crops are always a little bit tighter so i get them in a 10 instead of in an eight um so yeah i really love this top it's pretty much self-explanatory and you guys see how it fits me in the side by side i can't wait to pair this with like biker shorts and um i need to find sneakers that go with this besides my forces because they're white so yeah I think this will be really cute and I'm definitely going to bring it on vacation. And my last top is this Atlanta Motorsport, what does that say? Motorsport Worldwide Shirt, Worldwide Graphic Tee, um, Angui, Angui uh, Tachio, I believe I pronounced her last name correctly. She was wearing this shirt a while ago um and she paired it with the blue chill uh jordans and it just looks so freaking cute she had like this little hat on like it was so cute and i was just like okay when i'm buying clothes again i need to get this top and i just feel like because i have the royal toes it'll go with that i mean the blue isn't is it the same blue but it'll definitely work because it has black in it but i can also wear this with a bunch of my other shoes and so that's why i thought it was perfect to get it so yeah very very nice and it's literally called black atlanta motorsport wide printed t-shirt um uk size large so us large so now we have our final item which are oh which is some jeans. So I did get two pairs of jeans, two pairs of boyfriend jeans. These ones, however, are not petite, so they're not in the petite section. These are in the regular section. And these are called Pretty Little Thing Light Blue Wash Extreme Distress Hem Boyfriend Jean in a UK size 14, which means they are a 10, I believe. I believe that's the conversion. 
So we have no distressing up here in the upper part like the last jeans, but we do have some more distressing towards the bottom. So both of the knees, both of the knee sections have distressing. And then at the bottom, it kind of has this distressing open ankle area and it also has like some fringe work going on which I really loved and I felt like it would look really really good with my sneakers so yes this was just so so worth it um it also has the buttons that I was doing on my other jeans so yeah um also has all functioning pockets front I mean sorry front and back and then me in the try on, of course. So all together, all together about how many, I think I got like 10 items all together, or I wanna say 10. So two items out of the 10 did not fit um, because they were too big and they are being sent back so that I can get store credit and get some other stuff. Um, but overall, I really liked all my purchases, and I did like the quality of the sweat shorts. I just wish they fit, but it's okay that they don't. It's perfectly fine. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please let me know down below what other fashion content you want to see. Also, if you guys recognized in my banner, I did officially put in there that I do beauty as well. So if you guys want to see me do anything going on, with this wig or you guys want to see my updated summer base routine for my makeup please let me know comment down below don't forget to follow me on my instagram at alana j and that's where you'll see any photos that i'm taking and also you can follow me on my tiktok as well it's also alana j and you'll see some other fashion content on there as well i'll see you guys in my next video bye